Hi everyone, I'm Gwendolyn from WISE. Welcome to Tips on Tuesday. Today, we're going to cover IFTTT basics in depth. IFTTT stands for If This, Then That. It's a third-party app that we are now integrated with that is frankly awesome. It opens up a whole new world of new ways to use your WiseCam by allowing you to connect to devices and apps using IFTTT as a bridge. Some of the new features through IFTTT will be added to the WISE app later, but this will work in the meantime. If you want to use IFTTT with your WiseCam, make sure that you're using at least firmware version 3.9.3.62 for V1 WiseCams and 4.9.1.60 for V2s. So let's download the app from the App Store and open it up. The first thing it will have you do is either sign up or sign in. After that, you're going to be taken to a home page. I'm going to go to the search area and type in the word WISE. See these pages? These are templates for things you can do with your WISECAM, but I'm going to make my own applet so that you can see the process. All right, the first thing it wants you to do is press on the word THIS. This is the trigger event that makes other actions happen. So let's search for WISE here. When you pull up our section, you can see four trigger functions. IFTTT is currently configured to use motion, sound, smoke alarm, and CO alarm detection as triggers. Let's use motion detection for this. Now it asks you to connect to WISE. It can't see your WISE cams if you don't securely log in through our page here. IFTTT does not get your login information and it cannot have access to your live stream or alert videos. So you can go ahead and accept that one. On the next page, you select which WiseCam you want to have involved with this process. Go ahead and create that trigger. Now it's time to figure out that. That is the action that follows the trigger. So motion was detected and now what? Well, I think that push notifications are nifty and all, but I am usually on a computer, not my phone. I would like to receive an email if narcissism cam detects motion, and I'll use Gmail for this one. I have the options to send an email to someone else, send myself an email, or create a draft email. I'll send an email to myself for this. Next, I get to configure the email and figure out how much information I want to put in each portion. These parts are known as ingredients. I can change the subject, the body of the email, and even add a URL as an attachment. When I'm done here, I'll press on Create Action. Now I'll get to check out the applet that I made. If motion is detected on Narcissism Cam, then send yourself an email from totwisecam at gmail.com. I can edit the title if I want, but this looks good to me. If you want notifications when your applet runs, you can select that here. After I press finish, my applet turns on and now I'll receive emails for motion detection events. We checked out that this functions, but WiseCam can also work for that. The action functions we have enabled are enabling motion detection, disabling motion detection, recording a short video clip and storing it on the cloud, turning on notifications, and turning off notifications. These functions may not seem like a lot, but with everything else available on IFTTT, you have so much available. For example, I know someone that is now using a WiseCam to trigger a fan and air freshener when their cats use the litter box. And that wraps it up for IFTTT Basics. As a heads up, Tips on Tuesday is changing format, at least for the time being and possibly permanently. You'll still see me around making videos, but they will be more streamlined and will be incorporated into the WISE FAQ after this. Thanks for watching, folks. It means so much to me. I'll see you around for the other FAQ videos and across our social media.